Yeah, it's funny how this league is and life is where where we were, like you said, 48 hours ago, and then uh, where we were tonight as far as Seawood played about as solid a game as he's played all season, like focused and, and attacking and um, rebounding and like on every coverage. And he was, he was so good tonight. And then Scoot struggled. He made plays for his teammates, uh, struggled shooting the ball, but making the game winner. It's just funny how life is <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I mean, prior to the game, everybody's talking about our culture and all that stuff. And, you know, it's just life. <laughs> it's just life. And it's, it's, uh, I'm so, I told them in the, in the locker room how proud I am of those guys fighting back from where they were. And, uh, we gave them a bunch of support, obviously, but, um, the character shows. Um, yeah, well, I was trying to get us organized basically, but on the last one, uh, I just told him, Hey, make, make it, make the play, make the right play. And we ran a little, um, slip out screen with Jalen. If Jalen was open, he would have hit Jalen, but Jalen wasn't open. He got the switch and got to a step back and, uh, you know, he, he was two for 12 at that point, but it was good as soon as he, as soon as it left his hand. So yeah, I was just trying to get him organized. After, I guess when we're doing the review, <laughs> did you say anything? Oh, uh, no, uh-uh. <laughs> I didn't have to say anything. You know, I mean, uh, sometimes it's better not to say anything. It's, it's the actions and I felt, I, I was just proud of him. I just felt so proud of him. And, um, like we said, like I said, it's it's the love for these guys and and uh, how much you care about them. And you don't see like to see them go through stuff, but when they do go through stuff and they bounce back, like both Seawood and uh, Scoot did tonight, just happy for them and uh, had to show them. Can I talk about Seawood playing a solid game as you saw? Him. What's the also <coughs> thing? That the aggression, attack was mismatched on the basketball. Yeah, he he was really good at looking to seal in the paint. And sometimes he tries to seal outside the paint, and uh, that's not as effective. But he was very, very um, intentional about being aggressive tonight. and But not, like, trying to do too much. You know, if he didn't have it, he would space or he'd get to the dunker or um, – you know, do something else where he'd run into maybe run into a pick and roll. So um, he, <laughs> he's really good. He's really good tonight. Also, speaking of intentionally aggressive, talking about Jim Green. Yeah. Man, he's so quick. I mean, he gets to that corner and it's over. And he's now he's like into those little quick finishes. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, with him, it's all about quick decisions. Um, and that's what I've been harping on with him. So he's doing it. Looks good. Are you good? We'll take a couple questions from Sam. Mark Conan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even what was the embrace like with, with Kevin? <laughs> it was great. It was great. It was, uh, you know, <laughs> there's times where you just want to, you want to hug a, hug a guy like that. <laughs> And, uh, and that was the perfect opportunity. So um, I probably would have hugged him that way, make or miss. But uh, it was it was really, really a good moment. One of the one of the best moments of the year. Bailey Coach, over the last stretch of games, this team has preached the need to tighten up defensively. You didn't allow the Wizards to score more than 28 points in a quarter tonight. What was different about the attack and the intensity on the defense bend? Yeah, I mean, um, We've been talking about it. Like you said, we've been talking about it a lot. And um, we wanted to keep them under 28 points each quarter. That was our goal tonight. And and we did it, except for the second quarter. They had 29. But it's more about, like, the shot quality. And I thought we did a, a pretty good job of 
switching and staying up and um, making him get to drive and kick. And obviously, Beal is a hard one to, to guard, but nine for 25, we did a pretty good job on him. So, uh, yeah, it's as I continue to preach, it's the simple things. It's the deep, like the the <laughs> closeouts and the low man and the uh, switching, switching up and um, just doing the simple things. And if we do those with aggression, we should be okay. And we eliminated a lot of the mistakes that we've been making. And that was one of the things I wanted to make sure we did tonight as well. <clears throat> Coach, um, Christian Wood and, uh, and Kevin Porter Jr. set the pace and the tone early in the game, scoring the first nine points. So that's something that you've seen from them before the game, them wanting to make sure they come out as aggressive uh, to, to start the game? Not really, but I, I anticipated them both uh, being aggressive and, and uh, wanting to play a good game. <clears throat> and they did a great job of um, establishing themselves and establishing us. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't really notice it in their eyes or anything, but uh, they were both locked in, and, and we need that from both guys. Hey, Steven. Um, it looked like there was a concerted effort today from Jalen to either get the rebound himself defensively or get the look, at, look ahead pass, get the team set up in transition with the offense. Was that something that you were looking forward from him today? Um, is that something we can look forward to moving forward with him? Uh, attacking really quickly in transition. Yeah, I mean, that's the goal is for him. He's used his gifts in transition, beat the defense down the floor. If he can rebound it, first of all, we were <clears throat> small quite a bit tonight. So him getting in and getting six rebounds is big. And, um, you know, our smaller guys getting in there and getting rebounds is big. But for him, especially, he can push when he gets it and usually beat at least two guys down the floor. So, um yeah, we, we want him playing along the sidelines if he can and get all the way downhill and then make the play, whether it's for himself or his teammates. And last question, Jackson Gatlin. Hey, Stephen. Um, hey. Bit, of a, bit of a quieter night for Garrison Matthews offensively, but defensively he had four <laughs> offensive fouls drawn, and he now leads the team in charges drawn. What's it like having a guy – on your team on the floor for you that's, you know, willing to put his body on the line like that on a nightly basis to get you guys extra possessions? It's huge. It's uh, it's two things. It's him, like, putting his nose in there and, and being willing to take those charges. But it's also, like, his anticipation and uh, seeing it before it happens. And that's something that we need a lot of guys to have. And that's based on experience and, and all that. So hopefully – guys will pick that up from him seeing the play before it happens and then sticking his nose in there. It's, it's huge. So like you said, he didn't make as many shots as he usually does. And it was a different cause he didn't, cause he came off the bench tonight, but um, yeah, those four charges are huge for our team.